Hi readers and families at Diplomat. Here is another one of Mrs. Harkle Road's favorite folk tales. My older students have probably heard it before. It's an African tale. So if I get our little globe out, um, you can see right there, there's Florida. And if we go around, we're gonna go to the continent of Africa. And actually the story was told in Ghana. It was told by a gentleman who lived in the late 1800s and the early um, 1900s. His name was uh, James um, uh, Agre. I think that's how you pronounce it. He was known as Agre of Africa. And he was an educator, he was a storyteller, and he had a very famous story uh, that he used to teach a special lesson. And it's called uh, Fly, Eagle, Fly. This is a more modern um, version of it right there. And it's all about are you a chicken or an eagle? Hmm. Let's do our fast five to get ready for our story. Here we go. And in five, four, three, two, one, shh, story begins. Once there was a farmer who had lots of cattle, so much that he needed some help. So all the children in the village, they wanted to work for this farmer. And he finally settled on two boys. And he told the boys everything they would have to do. Basically, they'd have to take the cattle at the beginning of the day, um, past the village, on the big dirt road, to a big grassy field. And there the cattle would graze all day. And towards the end of the day, the boys would bring the cattle back. Well, on the very first day, when the boys were able to do it, they said goodbye to the farmer and they were very proud of themselves. They had their sticks and they were out on the dirt road with all the cattle following them. They got to the grassy field and all of a sudden, this big thunderstorm started. Oh, the rain and the wind and the hail was coming. And the boys looked at each other and they go, what do we do? I don't know, the farmer didn't tell us. Oh, I don't want to lose this job. Finally, the boys said, well, we've got to bring all the cattle back home. So they gathered all the cattle and they went back to the village. And when they got there, the farmer was running to greet them. And he said, oh, I'm so sorry. You did just the right thing. Here, here, we'll bring them into the barn. So they got all the, the cattle into the barn and they started to count. And they realized one of the cows was lost and it just wasn't anyone. It was a baby calf who had been born three weeks earlier. Oh, the boys felt terrible. But the farmer said, no, 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 no. This could have happened to anyone. You are not at fault. You know, animals are smart. That little calf will know how to hide and to come back to our village. And if it doesn't, well, I will go out and find him. So when the rainstorm ended, the farmer made his way out to find the lost calf. He went through the dirt road, across a river to the grassy field, and he looked everywhere. He looked in the river banks and the grass. There wasn't even a little cave next door, and they, he went in there, and then he saw the mountain, and he said, maybe the calf went up there. So he began to climb up the mountain, but he no sooner got up there than there was a tree that had fallen and he could hear this noise, and he looked, and there it was, a baby bird. No mother, the nest on the ground, no brothers or sisters. So the farmer picked up the baby bird and walked back to the village. Well, when he got there, all the villagers were saying, guess what, the calf came back, the calf came back. Ah! It's like I told you it would. But a good thing I went out to look, because look what I found. And he opened up his cave, and they all looked at the little baby bird. But the wife was not pleased, the farmer's wife. She said, we can't take care of that baby bird. Why not, said the farmer. Because it's not just any bird. It's an eagle. Oh, don't worry, watch. And he took the eagle chick, and he put it on the ground where the other mother hen had had her baby chicks. And the eagle was hungry. And the baby chicks from the mother hen were pecking on the grain and, and eating it up. And all of a sudden, the eagle started to peck like a chicken and eat the grain. Then the mother hen, she, she moved her, her feathers and all of her little chicks lined up. And guess who was at the end of the line? That's right, the little baby eagle. And so it was. The mother hen took care of the baby eagle. Now several months had gone by 
and the farmer was outside of his hut talking to a very good friend who had been on a journey. And when the friend came back, they were laughing and joking. And all of a sudden, the friend looked out. And he said, wait a second, what kind of bird is that? And the farmer said, it's a chicken. No, said his friend, that's not a chicken. That's an eagle. What are you doing with an eagle? And he said, no, no, it's a chicken. It talks like a chicken, it walks like a chicken, it eats like a chicken, it thinks like a chicken. It's a chicken. Oh, said the friend, this is terrible. Are you to tell me that this bird is like a chicken and does not know how to fly? Mm-hmm, that's what I'm telling you. Oh, I'll change that, said the friend. So he went down to the eagle, chicken, chicken, eagle, and he picked it up. And he said, you know, you are not a bird of the ground. You are a bird of the sky. You are meant to fly. Fly, eagle, fly. And he threw the eagle, chicken, chicken, eagle up into the air. And the eagle, chicken fell right back down and started to peck on the ground just like his brothers and sisters. See, said the farmer, it's a chicken. It talks like a chicken, it walks like a chicken, it eats like a chicken, it thinks like a chicken, it is a chicken. Oh, this isn't right, said the neighbor. And he went to the two boys and he said, get me a ladder. The two boys ran off and got the ladder and they put the ladder against the hut and the neighbor picked up the chicken, eagle, eagle, chicken, and he began to climb up the ladder. And when he got to the rooftop, he said to the eagle, chicken, chicken, eagle, you are not a bird of the ground. You are a bird of the sky. You are meant to fly. Fly, eagle, fly. And he threw the bird up into the air. But the bird didn't go because it stuck its talons in to the neighbor and crawled its way down the body and kind of slid and shimmied off to the hut to the ground where it pecked on the ground like its brothers and sisters. See, said the farmer, it's a chicken. It walks like a chicken, it talks like a chicken, it eats like a chicken, it thinks like a chicken, it is a chicken. Ooh, said the neighbor, I'm so mad at you. And he left for his house. In the middle of the night, there was a knock on the door, and the farmer, sleepy, woke up, and it was his neighbor, his friend. He said, what are you doing? Why are you here? Oh, he goes, I couldn't sleep. Well, now I can't sleep, said the farmer. You're going to wake up my children and my wife. He said, no, no, no. I figured out how to show that bird it's an eagle. Now, we have to do it tonight. Tonight? No. He goes, promise me, I will never bother you again. Just let's try this one last thing. All right, said the farmer. So he followed this neighbor friend out and they went into the chicken coop and they got the eagle chicken chicken eagle and the friend was holding it tight and the bird was a little bit nervous and all of a sudden he walked out of the village. The farmer goes, where are we going? You'll see, said the friend. And they went down the dirt road across the river to the mountain. Oh no, said the farmer. We're not gonna climb that mountain. Yes, we are said the friend, we have to get there to that cliff right over there before the sun comes up. Hurry! Oh, said the farmer. So they climbed up. Again, the friend was holding the chicken, eagle the eagle chicken, and when they got to the cliff, he put the bird on the ground. And he said, now you are not a bird of the ground. You are a bird of the sky. You are going to see a big, yellow, round thing, and it is going to rise and it is going to give you light and warmth, and you will rise with it, eagle, because you will fly. And the eagle, chicken, chicken, eagle was looking at the neighbor friend and then looking at the farmer and looking, and then all of a sudden it stopped because there was the sun and it was rising, and the eagle leaned forward. It had never seen such a thing, and without even realizing it, the wings were spread on the eagle. A wind came from behind and lifted the eagle. You see, the eagle was not a bird of the ground. It was a bird of the sky. It was meant to fly. Fly, eagle, fly. And not only did the eagle fly, but it soared. And in this story, the storyteller is asking you, who are you? Are you a chicken? Or were you meant to be an eagle and 
fly. Now, I'm not saying you're really going to fly, but what are your dreams? You can reach for whatever you want because you are eagles of learning. And that's our story for today. Fly, eagle, fly.